Sean Lewis is with us right now. What a first 24 hours here on the Mesa flying in last night, introduced today at Snapdragon Stadium as the new head coach of the Aztecs with us on John and Jim on the home of the Aztecs, San Diego Sports 760. Sean, first of all, congratulations from us here at San Diego Sports 760. And for our listeners, take us through this last 24 hour period. What's it been like for you and your family? And thank you for hopping on. Yeah, guys, thanks for having me on. It's been super exciting for my family and I to, to be here on the Mesa and, and to be rolling and to be introduced today, you know, as the new head coach and to be able to lead this very fine program, you know, to new heights and to a new future. And I'm just so excited to be here. And uh, it's nice to be in sunshine and out of the cold and, and ready to enjoy all that San Diego has to offer. What was the first thing like when, when you got contacted by San Diego State and J.D. Wicker and you thought about coming here, what was the first thing you thought about when, when someone told you San Diego State football? Yeah, I mean, knew the, the, tried, the, the pride and the tradition, you know, and the history of the program when, when I saw the news of, you know, Coach Ho- Hope that he was going to retire and then initial contact was made. I was very, very excited about the opportunity. And as we, you know, dug into it more and more and more, the excitement continued to build and build and build. And, you know, the more that I learned and the more interactions that I had with JD and the leadership team, I knew that there were people that were about the same things that, that I was and that what was important to them was important to me and knew that this program and university were just positioned in a great place that we can take it to, to new heights, especially as, you know, the, the college football playoff is expanding to be able to, to reach those heights consistently and compete for championships year in and year out. Sean Lewis with us right now, the new Aztec football head coach here on the Mesa. Uh, What was it like for you earlier today, having a chance to meet with the student athletes at San Diego State? What was that experience like for you this morning? It was great. It was the perfect way to to start the day, to to get in front of them, shake some hands, share the vision of of where we're going to go and express to them how they are the priority focus, obviously, of what we are going to do and that we're here to to serve and to lead them. So I look forward in the coming days to being able to sit down with each of them individually, one-on-one, hearing their stories, learning about what's important to them, and uh, building those relationships so that we can go reach great heights together in the future. You know, one one of the big questions here at San Diego State is always the quarterback play. And your offense is an offense that is high tempo, fast pace. So for you, what kind of quarterback do you look for for your offense that you want to have running? Yeah, we we need to have a leader, right? First and foremost, that, that, that position, I think, is the most critical in all of sports because of all the intangibles that come with it to where the, the leadership, the, the the moxie, if you will, to where the guys in the locker room have to rally behind that individual. So that's really important. that It's a, it's a person in the locker room that the guys are going to follow because they have a ton of respect for that individual Um, from a physical standpoint you know they need to be an accurate passer they have to be quarterback athletic and they have to have the arm and hand talent to be able to make all the throws that our offense requires um, you know all over the field so those are the things that we're going to emphasize those are the things that we're going to constantly develop and work through and, and make sure that they can process and see the game in a clear consistent manner so they can be efficient with their decision making. Sean Lewis with us right now, John and Jim, San Diego Sports 760. Now, now you touched on this with the expanding college football playoffs. How do you see it in terms of how well-positioned San Diego State is, the expansion of the playoff, Snapdragon Stadium, the university's resources? How do you see San Diego State fitting in and taking advantage of everything that's to come right now in college football? Yeah, I think we're in a a remarkable position with all the things that you just mentioned and and also with the Aztec link and what they have started to do so that we can build upon the NLI space to continue to develop and retain our roster at the level that it needs to be to compete at that highest level. So everything is in place and and all we need to do is continue to refine it and enhance it and and to take it to those new heights by doing great work together and and, and telling our story and, and making sure that People are buying their tickets. That Snapdragon's full. That's an unbelievable home field advantage so that we can protect our home turf, which is a very unique and special spot, and then maximize the opportunities that we have, um, you know, given the landscape that we're in and we're positioned for greatness to do so. You know, being at Colorado this past year for you, you've obviously seen how much the transfer transfer portal was used um, for, for your time here now at San Diego State. What is your thoughts on the transfer portal? How often do you plan to utilize the transfer portal? And what did you learn at Colorado seeing the amount of players come through there 
fr- via the transfer portal. Yeah, you know, the, the portal is obviously, you know, a, a piece of the puzzle right now. And, and it's another avenue that, that you can go down, that you can pursue to, you know, bring the, the talent and the character and the players and, and young men that you need, you know, to win into your program. You know, for us, we're going to use it as a, a mechanism where we can supplement our roster when need be. But to me, one of the greatest advantages of this opportunity and of this job is where we're located with the unbelievable high school football and high school coaches that are here in the San Diego area and Southern California. So, you know, the, the majority of our roster is still first and foremost going to come from those high school kids. And, and as we build a competitive depth and competitive maturity that we need through all the position groups, you know, it'll start at the high school ranks. And then we'll tap into all the different buckets that are out there, whether that be the, the portal with undergrads or graduate transfers, also junior colleges, but, but every avenue where there's talented young men that, that match our standards and that have the same expectations that we do. You know, we will vet them out and see who the right fit is for us so that we can have the competitive maturity and the competitive depth that we need on our roster you know, for the long haul that is the season to consistently win at the level that we're going to. New Aztecs head coach Sean Lewis with us right now on John and Jim to, to further that point on, you know, prep football in Southern California. And you said something to me earlier today that I, I thought was fascinating and, and people know it, I think here in Southern California, but it was the way you said it, you, you called San Diego, I think quarterback heaven, and you've recruited Southern California and San Diego County previously as well. C- can you kind of speak to what you're seeing, you know, with some of the student athletes out of Southern California and specifically with some of the quarterbacks, some of the nation's top quarterbacks coming out of San Diego over the last decade plus. Yeah, absolutely. Right. I mean, I think all you got to do is look at the history and, and the young men that have come out of this area and then the production that they have had and the heights that they have reached, you know, after their, their, their prep career. And, and that speaks to, you know, the talent and the level of coaching that they're getting right so that's an area where we're going to have to be great you know in, in all the skill positions to where again we got beautiful weather where we get to play this beautiful game year round so so the development of those positions you know is be happening at an exponential rate especially with the level of coaching that is happening in this area and so for what we're looking for and, and the offensive identity that we're going to build and, and to be able to you know play fast and, and tempo you know we, we need a trigger man that can do those things and that has that skill set and that there's going to be uh, a bunch of good candidates here that we're going to be able to attract and, and bring to campus and show how this is the best opportunity for them to stay home and, and to do some great things. We, we know you've been on the job for literally hours <laughs> right, right now, and, and everybody always wants everything right now, but it does take time. For you, do you have a timetable for, for us or in the fans about when the coaching staff will be assembled and the news on that, or, or is it just too soon to even think about the timetable? No, I mean, you know, we're, we're working diligently to, to get our leadership in place. I, I truly believe that leadership is a, is a difference maker. And, and I want to make sure that our team is in place as, as fast as possible. But again, having been a head coach in the past, I don't want to do that at the expectation or, you know, because of a timeline or to do it so fast just to get it done. I want to make sure that it is done properly. And I want to make sure that we have the right pieces in place with the right people to do the job that we, that we need to do. So, you know, there's some people that all day long obviously have been reaching out and there's guys that I've done really good work with in the past that will get to, you know, campus as fast as possible. But we're going to make sure that we have the right guys in place. And that's the most important thing. That's the priority for me is that, you know, the the coaches and the men that are going to be leading our young people uh, are the best for this opportunity and not necessarily doing it in any sort of timeline or as fast as possible. Being in Colorado this past year, one of the big things was um... – Dion's endorsement of blenders. I'm sure you know about the company, about the sunglasses. Uh, you know that the company is based here in San Diego. So uh, is there any type of maybe collaboration down the few, down the line here of like, hey, I was at Colorado with Dion and blenders. Like now I'm here at San Diego State. Let's try to get something done. Well, I mean, uh, with the amount of sun that we get, I need some shade. So <laughs> hopefully we can make something happen and we can we can have that partnership come to reality here with Blenders. That'd be outstanding. I like it. Sean Lewis, uh, congratulations, Coach, to you, your family, all your successes to, your, to this point, everything that's ahead here on the Mesa. We really appreciate you taking time. We know it's a busy day, and thank you for doing it, and we look forward to doing it again soon. Yeah, I appreciate you having me on. Go Aztecs.